A cylindrical block with height h is hung under a scale. The scale reads 10 kilograms when the block is completely above the surface of an unknown liquid. 1. The scale reads 8 kilograms when only one-third h of the block is above the surface of the liquid. What is the buoyant force acting on the block at this time? 80 newtons, 60 newtons, 40 newtons, 20 newtons, or not enough information to decide. 2. What is the scale's reading when the block is lowered so it is completely submerged in the same unknown liquid? 7 kilograms, 6 kilograms, 16 thirds of a kilogram, 4 kilograms, 4 thirds of a kilogram. The block weighs 10 kilograms, but now it only has an apparent mass of 8 kilograms. So it has gotten 10 minus 8, 2 kilograms lighter. The block seems 2 kilograms lighter because of the buoyant force. So 2 kilograms must equal to the mass equivalent of the buoyant force. If 2 kilograms is the mass equivalent of the buoyant force, the buoyant force must be 20 newtons. So the answer is D. The buoyant force here is uh, the weight of the displaced fluid. So it's the weight of uh, this much fluid. In this case, uh, the entire block displaces fluid. So the buoyant force will be more than the buoyant force in that case. In number one, the buoyant force is 20 newtons for this much volume. How many newtons would this much volume give you? So 20 newtons buoyant force for two-thirds of the height beneath the surface. How many newtons of buoyant force will we get for one h below the surface? If I cross multiply, I'll find the question mark to be 30 newtons, which means the block is going to seem 30 newtons lighter. The normal weight for the block is 100 newtons, so 100 minus 30, that's going to give us 70 newtons. So this block has an apparent weight of 70 newtons, which means an apparent mass, 7 kilograms. So the answer is A. The scale reads 5 kilograms when a rock is hung under. When the rock is lowered so it is completely submerged underwater, the scale reads 3 kilograms. When the rock is lowered into an unknown liquid, the scale reads 2 kilograms. What is the density of this unknown liquid? When the rock is in water, it, the rock seems 2 kilograms lighter. The reason why it gets lighter is because of the buoyant force. So 2 kilograms must equal to the mass equivalent for the buoyant force, which is the mass of the displaced fluid. Uh, this would equal to the density of the fluid times the volume displaced. And the density of the fluid is water, so it's 1,000. The volume displaced is the volume of the rock because the entire rock displaces water. In this case, the rock has gotten, or the rock seems to be 3 kilograms lighter. 5 minus 2 equals to 3 kilograms. And this is because of the buoyant force. So 3 kilograms must equal to the mass of the displaced fluid again. And this will be the density of the fluid which is uh, the density of this uh, unknown liquid times the displaced volume. And again, the displaced volume would be the volume of the rock. So now we have enough information to solve for the density of the liquid. And it can be convenient for us to just use the ratio 2 divided by 3. 2 divided by 3 would equal to this divided by that. 1,000 times the volume of the rock divided by the density of the liquid times the de rock divided by the density of the liquid times the volume of the rock. And of course, the volume of the rock will cancel. And so you can cross multiply, and then you'll be able to solve for the density of the liquid, which is 1,500. So the answer is B.